Hey guys, this is Mike from BTech Reviews here, and today we're going to take a look at and unbox the Xbox Series S. Again, this is the non-disc version, unfortunately. I, I could not find a disc version of this, but, you know, with Black Friday and, and everything coming up, you know, I decided to snag one of these. I did, I was able to find this at my local Target, you know what I mean? Uh, but again, you can probably find them on Best Buy or even Amazon right now currently. So hopefully, uh, you know... Hopefully we'll see what my experience with the digital version of this is. Uh, I do have very slow internet at home, so hopefully that doesn't hinder my experience from at least downloading the digital copies of the games. But I decided to get one, so let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. All right, so let's get the unboxing going. As you guys can see here, I did buy a Red Pulse control, and I'm going to leave descript uh, links in the description down for you guys below so you can check that out if you guys are interested, right? Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the side of it here. There's nothing here. It just has 512. There is a piece of tape there that I need to kind of undo, and let's see how this goes. It looks like I can just pull it, actually, I think. I don't want to ruin the box here. I should have just cut it, honestly. Uh, but in this case, you know what? I'm just going to leave it there. Let's just cut it. It looks like it's just a little bit of, of uh, how do you say, I guess, tape anyways. So that way if I ever decide to resell this, I can just use the box here. Uh, let's look at the back here. And most, and the, mo the, the reason why I bought this is because I want to play the new Halo game, uh, Halo Infinite, uh, that just came out. So I wanted to check that out. So again, uh, Latrell, I'm going to be hitting you up on Xbox very soon. At least I think uh, you have the game or you're downloading the game. Uh, we'll try that out. But I haven't had an Xbox in almost a couple of years already, guys. I did end up selling my Xbox One uh, just because, uh, you know, again, I hadn't been touching it. But, you know, I, my, my video game, uh, I guess, presence has been wanting to come out a little bit. So let's let's get this going. Let's see. How do I open this thing? Let's see. Oh, here we go. You got to open up that bottom part. That bottom part has a little piece of tape here also. So just in case you guys are wondering... And again, I'm sure there's an easier way of doing this, but this is the way I'm doing this. So, mm -mm. this knife is not doing its job. There we go. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get this going here for you guys. This thing is tiny, by the way. Uh, I, I didn't realize how small it was, and compared to my Xbox One S, I thought it was going to be a little around the same size, but no, this thing is super small. Like, let's, let's, compare, let's compare one of my phones next to it. This is the... Uh, TCL 20 Pro 5G and you know again you can tell it, the, the one thing I can tell you though this thing is heavy though so uh, the crappy part is this is a digital version so it does have a small hard drive although I'm thinking that I can buy another hard drive with this so I'm hoping this came with the controller because I'm not seeing I'm not seeing anything but let's go ahead and get this open really quick see how the rest of it looks here and this is interesting guys you you would be surprised but this little thing is super heavy it is heavy by the way it's an all digital version so you can stand it up right and again i know you can't see it in the shot the infamous black circle there which makes it look like a big oreo uh, but on the back here you can see its connections here it does have a dedicated uh, cat5 cable so you can connect it directly to the internet you do have a few usb uh, cables back here so i'm guessing you can uh, again, connect external hard drives to this because it does have that little SS logo. Your HDMI out, storage expansion, so if you want another expansion, you can buy that. Power cable, which I'm hoping the power brick isn't that huge. So let's go ahead and put that down. It does come with an instruction thing on how to set up the control and sync it, so that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and put this back. I'm going to go ahead and put this down really quick. And let's just show you guys what else is in the box here. So you have your HDMI cables. You have the power cable, of course, which I'm going to need both of those. And, of course, the remote, which probably will require AA batteries. <laughs> and that's not something I bought. So I'm hoping it came with it. Yes, it came with AA batteries. Thank God. Okay. And the, as dumb as that sounds, I don't normally carry AA batteries, but I do have rechargeable batteries that I've had for my other Xboxes. And I do have... a. I do have an Xbox One control sitting around here somewhere. It's a little bit dusty, but here's my Xbox One control. It has like a little bit of a thing here. They pretty much look identical. There's not much of a difference other than that this one has... I have no clue what this button does actually. Uh, but if you look at the bottom, it's the exact same. So I'm hoping that I can maybe use my Xbox One controller and link that up with it. I can tell you one thing, this controller is a lot lighter 
uh, than the Xbox One controller. Like this one does feel a little bit heavier, uh, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And of course you can tell the D-pad, there's a little bit of a difference there opposed to this one, which again, you don't see much of a difference on top here. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Regular sync, that's USB type C on top. And this one of course is not USB type C. I believe that's just USB uh, A on top there, which is interesting, but I guess hopefully, you know, you can maybe connect rechargeable battery packs with that. That's probably the, or again, you can just connect it directly to PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this connected guys. And again, this was just a quick unboxing of the actual system itself. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button and who knows, hopefully I'll be playing Halo on this very soon. Again, thanks for watching. All right, so I am going to, I guess, get this set up really quick while we, we're making this video guys. So here's the Xbox Series S and just so we can compare it to the PlayStation 4 Slim or whatever. That's how big it is. It's not too. It's not too fat. If you want to compare them in, in size, let's go ahead and. Uh, I guess let's let's move that forward just so you can, can see that a little bit. Um, but again, it's 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 a little bit bigger. It's it's very small though, relatively speaking. Now this the PS4 Slim is a lot smaller. Obviously, it's, it's a lot thinner. And I was really hoping that the Xbox uh, would come out with a Series X Slim, but unfortunately not. So let's go ahead and get the white shot back up here. So I'm probably going to set this up over here on the side really quick. So you're going to see it all on my back. Well, the cool part about this is you can actually stand it up. So like if I wanted to, I can stand it up like this. So let me move this really quick. Move that. I do have a little bit of stuff happening over here. I'm going to leave that there for now. So HDMI cable and power cables are very easy to work with luckily. So let me get that going first. I'm just gonna put all the plastics down really quick. Power cable is gonna probably be the easiest. It just plugs in directly just like this. And then of course the HDMI cable, which if you, if you guys are wondering what TV I'm using here, it's it's the, the it's a TCL, uh, forget what the series is called, but it's a 55 inch TV. I bought it like five, four or five years ago already. I, I bought it back in 2017. And this TV is actually my most viewed uh, YouTube video for those who want history on that, right? But let me go ahead and get the HDMI set up really quick. Easy to connect to, by the way. I mean, this is, looks like it's an easy setup. So I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna stand it up at first, although We'll see, I might end up laying it down just because I have a cat and my cat tends to to kind of mess around over here. So we'll see what's up with that. Let me just connect this really quick. I have no clue what's plugged in over here. Okay, so... There's that. Now we just need the controller. Hold on, let me get the controller really quick. And I bet you guys are wondering, like, hey, why, why isn't he just time <laughs> time lapsing this or something like that? And because you know, I, I like to, I like to be as thorough on my videos as possible. I guess let's go ahead and and get this a little higher so you guys can see that. And let me go ahead and get the the battery set up on this uh, remote really quick. And again, I, I don't have Xbox Game Pass or Xbox Live currently, so I am actually going to have to purchase all that stuff separately, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So let's see. This one says minus, and then this one says plus. So, of course, using the trusty Duracell batteries. Now, of course, I will probably buy some sort of... Uh, battery pack for this so if, if anyone from Amazon wants to send me a battery pack so we can test this out uh, please <laughs> please let me know you know I'm, I'm willing to do a video on how good those uh, battery packs are so let's go ahead and get this turned on I just need the remote now let's change it to HDMI 1 so let's go ahead and get this turned on should be turning on at least oh you know what I need to plug it in Let's plug it in. I forgot to plug it in. <laughs> smart, Michael. You're smart.
There we go, that's a little bit better. It's been a while, Xbox. It has been a while. So, let's see how this thing reacts. Super fancy, by the way. Let me see if I can link up my controller now. Alright, we are syncing them up, or we're trying to sync them up at least. Set up with the Xbox app. Do I really have to do that? Can I just use a control? Oh my gosh. Interesting is this thing is in another language, so. There we go. Okay, guys, so again, I just wanted to get this set up really quick for you guys. Alright, guys, so it is downloading an update. If we can zoom in there so you guys can see that really quick. It says downloading, I don't know how much, it's about a gig file. So, again, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching the video. And again, don't forget to smash the like button if you guys like the unboxing here. Again, I don't really do much gaming uh, content stuff, but every now and then once I do buy a console or something, I'll do an unboxing. So again, guys, Mike from B-Tech signing off. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.